Citadel, Honey Bunny, Samantha and Varun Dhawan or as now we can call them after this moment is Honey and Bunny. Honey and Bunny, you both are welcome. We can quadruple the round of applause. Deja Mark, where are you? Done? Light Azun Pajit. A little more lights and then Pandantar Apan Karuna pictures. I promise. All right. Uh, first things first, congratulations. The trailer looks power packed. Teaser then literally teased kiya tha. Ye trailer to literally, uh, you know, we and Samantha was right here and we were just kind of like, dude, so much action, so much power, so much drama. We're looking forward to it. And, you know, I have to say, Honey Bunny has this lovely ring every time. Even last time I said this, that it has a lovely ring when I sit at Dell. Honey Bunny. And, uh, you know, so we just saw the trailer and both of you are absolute badasses. And I mean, uh, how, did you guys undergo any special training for this series? I mean, a lot of things happen. I think actors, in most uh, things that they do, they go, they do undergo some training. And we did, we were under the Chhatra Chaya of uh, Raj and DK and Sita. And uh, honestly, for me, I was just following what Raj and DK were telling me to do. I've completely surrendered in this, uh, very unlike the other processes of me doing films. Uh, so it's, I hope that the audience likes it. I hope you guys like it. So this is very rewarding. Uh, to see this now over here and then everyone else watching it on YouTube or any other social media. But uh, what I can remember is my initial conversations with uh, Gaurav about this uh, show and how we are going to make it and uh, it's been such a long road but thank you for making it happen. We've, uh, so thank you Amazon for making this happen. Thank you so much. Like Varun said, I think it's good people to surrender to Raj and DK. Their vision and their storytelling is, I think every actor's dream to be part of their uh, world. Because it's definitely a unique wor world and it, it shows, I think it shows. <laughs> um, it's incredible, it's been a long journey and we're very excited that we're finally here, very close to the release of our series, our baby. We put in a lot of work into this, so um, I'm really glad that all of you love the trailer and the teaser as well, looking forward. Wishing you both the best for Citadel Honey Bunny. And Varun, congratulations, you've completed 12 years uh, in the industry on the 12th of October, a few days back, and gave us 16 fantastic movies. Let's have a huge round of applause and congratulate. Thank you, Varun. Now, what convinced you to choose Citadel Honey Bunny as your first series and how, is, uh, how different is the role of uh, Bunny uh, from the other action heroes that you've portrayed so far? Honestly, it's because of uh, Family Man. When I saw Family Man 1 and 2, I saw Sam was in it as well. And I saw that show and it was a late night phone call with uh, DK. He must have wondered why I'm calling him so late. And uh, we just started discussing uh, just action and how I've never done action and uh, what's the space of action I want to do and I don't think he was supposed to tell me at that point but uh, he leaked it. He told me that they're doing something with the Russos and uh, I was like, you had me at Russos. <laughs> I was like, what is, what is this? Like Russos and Raj and DK. I was, not, I was just like, my God, this is something global. This is going to be huge. And uh, then I met Raj and then uh, Raj was like, you know, this, this can happen, that can happen, we can do this with the character. And I was just like, the possibilities are endless. And in my heart, honestly, I was manifesting and hoping that Samantha will uh, be the, you know, actor they'll want with me in this. And uh, I, I think I said it to you all before you all told me about her. Did they, I, I said, I said, this can be Samantha, right? Thank because you. I I'd just seen Thank Family you. Man 2 when I was a fan and mm -hmm. I was like, no, I was a fan when I saw Makhi, honestly. <laughs> Uh, so, and Thank you. so I think everything just came together. There's KK Sir in this, who I'm a huge fan of. There's Sikandar, who I'm so happy that we are sharing screen space for the first time. I've known him since he's bullied me when I was a child. So <laughs> this is great. <laughs> uh, there's Sakib, who I'm very fond of. He's a dear friend, and so many other friends that I've made who are here, who I'm going to introduce you to very soon. Uh, so it's just a really, really special universe. I think we've created. Your manifestation has worked well for you. Uh, Samantha, my question is for you. Now, stepping into the shoes of a fierce female spy is no small feat. Now, what were your first thoughts when you were approached for the role of Honey? And 
what made you decide, yes, I'm going to do this? I mean, from time immemorial, we're just used to, if there is a spy series or a film, it's always a male character at the center of it, doing all the cool action and saying all the cool dialogues and um, also saving the day, mostly. <laughs> so I think that what sets this apart is the fact that I get to kick some ass as well. <laughs> and it, it's fantastic. So I think that finally, you know, with the series Citadel, and to be part of such a internationally connected spy world with connected stories with people like Priyanka Chopra and Matilda and doing some of the heavy lifting ourselves. It's just an amazing way to represent, finally, women of society correctly, maybe, <laughs> because we do it all, don't we? It's a balanced world of Citadel Honey Bunny. Yeah, so it was just, it was, it was just too tempting an offer. And um, I manifested it In fact, it as the well. men are outnumbered. <laughs> the women are definitely leading the way in the Citadel universe. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking well, forward to we that. We have very supportive men. <laughs> ah, thank you for that. Lilma, hi, how are you? You're looking beautiful. Thank you so much, first of all. Um, I was uh, actually, I am, this is my first show. Um, this is my first step to achieving my big dream of becoming an actor. So I'm really glad that I got to be a part of this mega project. And I got to work under the amazing director, Rajan DK Sir. And also Sita, ma'am. It was also very fun with you. Um, I'm very happy, actually. I don't know how to express it. You know, you're lucky to have them, but I'd say they're also saying the same, that they're also lucky to have you because you're so sweet. And yeah, of sweet. course, we're in the today. <laughs> what about you guys? Uh, so, yeah, so, so as a kid, you always dream of, uh, you know, hitting goons, riding bikes, shooting guns. <laughs> so, it's, like, it's an imagination as a child. But Raj sir, DK sir, made it true for me <laughs> at the age of 35. So, I'm really happy. <laughs> Sapne sach hote hain. Yeah. <laughs> Your thoughts? Well, I actually was a spy uh, in my previous life. And <laughs> while Raj and DK sir were researching on Family Man, that's when they met me and they took all the info from me as to how to make a show on spies and everything. So that's when I said that let me come to your time and be a part of your show and your universe of Citadel. And yeah, I lend a hand to them. I think... Uh, is this story at all believable, what I'm saying right now? Yeah, time travel. So that's why they that. took me. I think I'm a good actor that way. <laughs> <laughs> and Sikandar? Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to bully Varun again. That's it. It had been a while since I bullied him. I said, give me a chance to bully him again. And He bullied they, everyone. They were really nice to… In fact, I didn't meet Soham. So, he's again in that previous life of his only. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I was like, Raj, DK, please take me in this. I need to bully Varun again. But in fact… Uh, yeah, it was great to share screen space with them, man. It was good fun to work with Samantha, uh, Varun, Raj, DK, have Sita around. You know, it was, it was beautiful, yeah, to be a part of this show. Uh, and as you've seen the trailer, I think it speaks for itself. It's fantastic. Superb. Congratulations. Wishing you the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. And yeah, thoda sa, konitri, shh, Kira, that would be great, so that when they're answering, we don't get uh, disturbed. Rajan Dikhi, my questions to both of you. Now, can you share some behind-the-scenes insight into the development uh, process and tell us about the discussions with uh, Russo Brothers and Prime Video on how to weave the story of Citadel Honey Bunny uh, into the world of Citadel? Long, long ago, before COVID came, uh, we met uh, Jennifer Salke, uh, who had an idea to make a... a this interconnected universe and uh, so yeah we had to say yes <laughs> and then uh, we met uh, the Russo we flew into LA to meet the uh, Russo brothers and the team and uh, DK wore uh, Iron Man's glove and I wore the Thanos glove in their office so first things first and we had a duel right there in their office <laughs> <laughs> So, as to what kind of story to say, so we both couldn't agree, so we called Sita and said, what do we pitch them? So, what was nice is that they were really, really keen to, for us to do what we do in our way, than tell us what to do. So, they said, we love your voice and we love the style and, you know, so 
whatever story you guys you think is going to fit in the universe, go for it. And since then, it's been very collaborative and it's a huge team. I'd like to say all the development team, the Amazon team, uh, been very cooperative and it's been an extremely long process. So finally, we are here. That's why it took so long as well, because there are so many teams. Uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, when we went and met them, we actually were lucky enough to sit in their writer's room of uh, the American Citadel and uh, it's great to get a glimpse into how they work. Like now it's like the Russo brothers and the writers and the director and executive producers, a lot of people sitting around the table reading the script, their version, their script and breaking it down and we are like, oh my God, we should get a bigger table for our writer's room. There's only like two or three of us sitting on a laptop and talking, so yeah. So we've learned a lot from that process by working with them and uh, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to use that going forward as well. Thank you to both of you for being instrumental in, you know, putting out Indian content on the global map. So, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, Sita, my question is for you. How did you, you know, approach the crafting of the timeline plots and characters of Citadel Honey Bunny? So, we had a very straightforward emotional through line connect to the main show, which is the character of Nadia, played by Priyanka. So, for us, the connect was symbiotic right there. Um, however, beyond Nadia, we wanted to create new characters so that, you know, people would be engaged and invested in them. Um, so we made it the story of Nadia's parents. And, um, you know, we always talk about this one core theme we had. We all know about James Bond, but do we know who James Bond's parents were? So that was the bedrock on which we built um, Honey and Bunny story. I could just let her go on and on talk because she then just spilled this beans and we could get to know more. <laughs> no, no, I'm <you're> not. <laughs> Nikhil, after watching the trailer, I don't think there's any doubt about the fact that the series truly is being global and beyond scale in your opinion. What makes uh, the content appeal to a much larger audience and also what are your expectations, personal expectations from the series? Sure, I think the world of Citadel itself is quite unique. I don't think there is uh, another sort of connected international spy world like this. So that's, that's really cool. The US Citadel series laid the foundation, got the franchise going. We then had the Italian version, which is Citadel Diana, and now we have uh, Honey Bunny. Uh, what makes Honey Bunny really stand out is that while it's a action-packed uh, you know, thriller, but the heart of it is family, it's relationships, it's love. And those emotions are global. They will travel across the world, across languages. Um, also, you know, Raj and DK have added their unique charm and wit that brings in this, you know, amazing tadka into the story. Uh, and that's why we believe that uh, this will travel across the world quite successfully. And we're really looking forward to it. The tadka, we want the entire dish to be dished out. You know, can't wait for the 7th of November. Wish you the best. And Varun, uh, we'd like to know from you about your character, about Bunny, and how it fits into the overall world of Citadel. Uh, so how does Bunny... So, I, you know, we, our series, it starts way before uh, the first Citadel begins, because since the timelines, we are based in the 90s. So this is almost the way everything began, you know, and how the future installments will play out. So it was starting afresh almost. We didn't have any reference to look up to because obviously we're in the 90s, so we don't get all the crazy gadgets that are available today. But we had to rely a lot on the things that people did in the 90s. 90s also happens to be my favorite period of probably filmmaking and life because I was at that age where I was uh, running wild probably at that age. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it was really, really fun. Uh, so Bunny, can I... Yeah, so Bunny is an orphan. Yeah, yeah, I think you can, yeah. I'm sure you can. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I can say or no because... Bunny is very much an orphan. Yeah, he's, a, he's an orphan and uh, KK, sir, who plays Baba, obviously you can understand the relationship over there is like a mentor figure for me. And that's how everything unfolds and, uh, you know, and then obviously me and Sam, there's a big Hindi film industry backdrop to our entire series, you know. And like I said, I love the 90s because my father made so many films in the 90s, you know. So I would always come up with suggestions and tell Rajan DK, why can't we use this song? Why can't we use, you know, uh, a song from Subhash Gai's film? So we would always keep debating on the music and references of what my character would probably hear at that time. 
or the kind of Mumbaiya, I, I, I think at that time, Bambaiya tone that I would speak in. So I have like two ways I speak. One is the way how Agent Rahi speaks and one is the way how Bunny speaks. Yeah, so, Varun knocked himself out with the impersonations yeah. of the yeah. actor. <laughs> and every time I would use any bad words, Sita would get very upset with me and she's like, no, you cannot abuse. This is not the tone. I'm not that bad. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think he was right about the time travel bit. It is the 90s. We're going back to the 90s. So yeah, yeah. So we look forward to that. Thank you. Uh, coming to you, Samantha, before I ask the question, now I would say this, this is in collaboration with Sita. <laughs> because Sita, yeah, we, we <laughs> so we had a conversation and I said, we saw it in the trailer. So if you, if I could request you to do that for us, ke thoda surprise ho ke batao. <laughs> So I took permission. I said, let me, in collaboration with Sita, it's not me alone. So, okay. so yeah, can we do this? <laughs> Thoda. Come on, let's do it why, why, why don't you show her how it's done, Sita? Not me. I'm not the actor. <laughs> she's the actor. <laughs> okay, Samantha. Write the words. She acts. <laughs> Sh shall we? Achha, to pehle surprise ho ke dekhao. Abhi dar jao. Abhi dono ko mix karo. <laughs> I think yeah, they gave, you know they were they were they were just bullying me on set. This wasn't written. It wasn't written at all. And they just decided, okay, let's have some fun with her. And it it actually found its way into the <laughs> series. It wasn't written. And it did here I, as well. I get bullied a lot on set. <laughs> Thank you for being a sport. Thank you. Uh, Samantha, the future is truly uh, female and Citadel has such strong uh, female characters. We've seen that, you know, uh, Priyanka Chopra Jonas in U.S. Citadel. Then we also saw uh, Matilda in Citadel, Diana, and uh, of course, your character, which is Honey. Now, uh, little Nadia is also here. Young Nadia, how are you? Enjoying? Of course. Of course. Yeah, I'm enjoying. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And so... Samantha, what do you think about the female star power that has uh, the world of Citadel is bringing forth? Gosh, I get all the difficult questions. <laughs> okay, um, I know it sounds really cool, like the future is female, but I mean, I'd, I'd like for it to be equal, like an equal playing ground maybe, like where intelligence, talent, uh, strength, decides your fate irrespective of gender. I think that would be an amazing place to be uh, at. And um, I'm also very happy to be part of this world where that has already started to take center stage. And also the, uh, just the opportunity to work with talent from across the world. It's already, the platform is already just becoming so much wider, the opportunities, the, everything seems like the future seems bright <laughs> for everyone. Yeah. And the round of applause just said it all to what you said. So thank you. You're playing the younger Nadia, a character played so amazingly by Priyanka Chopra Jonas in U.S. Citadel. Now, uh, what is it like for you and how was the experience uh, with Varun and Samantha as, uh, you know, on-screen papa and mummy? Um, first of all, um, I'm really glad that I got to be part of the show. And um, when Raj and DK, like, so when Raj and DK, sir, uh, we got on a call um, after the audition, when they told me that I'm going to be playing Franka Chopra um, as Nadia, I was like, I was really happy. I was thrilled to know that I would be playing her. Because I mean, Priyanka Chopra, she's an all-rounder. She acts, she dances, she sings. And even if I say I act, now I dance, I sing, I think it's a perfect match. <laughs> um, no, as, um, the future is definitely like, female. <laughs> No, but actually, like, um, she's, um, she's a very great inspiration. She is one of my favorite Bollywood, um, Bollywood and now also Hollywood heroines. And yes, I was really happy. And, um, of course, my experience with my on-screen parents was, I had a lot of fun. First of all, I'm really lucky to have such good-looking on-screen parents. <laughs> <laughs> And my first 
that's uh -huh. chill. And no, there were many things that I learned from them too. The way they expressed their emotions, um, um, the way they're so focused and disciplined, and the way they're so hardworking. But even after that, they managed to be funny, talkative, and humble too. So that's really nice. And I would like to add on. I learned so many things from Raj and DK sir too. Um, the way they're so creative, the way they're so precise on everything. Like I remember one scene, um, I'm not gonna reveal it, but like even these... <laughs> go on, go on, go on, woo! But even the smallest detail, so much research you would do because this, this is based on the 90s. So yeah, and I really had a lot of fun playing games with them whenever they had time. Yeah, so you know, and see that would play this kind of not whoever would not be playing, and all the lovely hugs DK sir gave me while shooting. And of course, I miss all that. So yeah, I yeah, it was a really incredible experience for my first one, and I'm really lucky that I got to work with this whole team. So yeah. You know what? This is your first, right? Yes. This is your series. Uh, can you all believe she's only like eight? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm getting to. I, I'm, my mind is blown. <laughs> you know, you were talking about Rajan DK being precise and detailed. Uh, yes. Uh, is, is, is Kashmir's mum around? <laughs> there you go. You can stand up and if say hi. If you can stand up, wave out. <laughs> Ma'am, I will stand this and, and say this for you. Thank you, she's so super confident at this age. Completely bowled over and credit goes to you, the family member, so completely. Wow, Kashvi has like, you know, first series, first acting stint and you yeah. speak like a thorough professional and you already won a million hearts. So, thank, thank you. you and wish you the best. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Wow, a sweet, sweet dose. Thank you. Thank you, mommy. And my question next is for Sikandar. Sikandar, uh, yeah, she's closer to the bank. Uh, Sikandar, what sets Citadel Honey Bunny apart from other action thriller series and what do you think will resonate most with viewers? Kashmi, Kashmi sets it apart <laughs> from every other thriller as you guys have clearly seen. And uh, secondly, Kashmi, I need to come to you to get training how to speak and answer like this, yeah? You've charmed the entire room. I mean… Sikandar, you start with wearing a frock. Sorry? <laughs> I don't mind, brother. I don't mind. Most people are wearing frocks yeah. now. Now anyway, all, all right. guys are wearing them. He should also come. My away, pants man. are so loose today. I was thinking maybe it's almost a frock, <laughs> but hardly as beautiful as Kashvi. But uh, I think it's just it's really cool, yeah. I mean, how does it set it apart? Means you saw it. I mean, it doesn't look like anything uh, I've seen before. I mean, everything, of course, is unique. But uh, Raj and DK truly have some serious skill up their sleeves. Um, I mean, it was great working with them. I mean, it's, uh, it's truly something special, yeah. You've seen the action, the way it was, it's planned, the way they direct us on set, the way they're into it. Uh, you know, they're just very clear about how they wanted to look. And they literally helped me. I mean, I remember there was a scene where I'm walking down and, you know, Raj is so in tune in that way with the style, you know, I was getting it a little wrong and he was like, Nini, he showed me how to hold the gun and move, you remember, in Serbia and, uh, and DK is, is the same, it's just like, they make you look better, you know, so it's going to be really good looking, that's for sure. Baki aap log dekho aur batao kaise lagta hai. Basically but but you know, actually what I discovered, they have a very scientific process to things, they're science guys. Like I've never worked with any director who's probably who must have scored very well in science, but these two have. <laughs> because I remember there was a scene in the climax, it's me and Sakeb, and a car topples. So we are ready to go, all bloodied up, greased up and all, and suddenly DK comes like, nahin, 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 ye gaadi ka angle garak, galat hai. Ye 35 degrees pe aise hona chahiye. Iska ye, kyunke physics ke hisaab se na ye aisa nahi hota, ye aisa hota hai. And all the set guys are like, haan sahab, aap bolo, piche kare aage. Bala, kisi ko samaj bhi nahin. And I'm just, astounded looking at him and he literally changed the angle of the… and, and this works. I mean, I'm, I'm sure. Both of you all have, uh, you all have done a, the background… Engineers, yeah, used right? used to be engineers in a previous life. 
<laughs> both are engineers so getting that into filmmaking is a very interesting mix you know it's a lethal mix i think especially when you're doing stunts because they have some cheat codes which normal people don't know there's a good 9 11 minute one hour yeah 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 there's a very long one hour there's a almost 11 minute one shot which me and uh, sam have done in in the climax you know which is relentless action and i was like how are we going to achieve this how are we going to do this and they're like nee this camera angle has to be like that and they would keep retaking it because of a camera angle or because of a certain tilt that they wanted and i it it's it's just amazing because i've done action otherwise also now but i have not seen this process i've never seen science applied so much to action <laughs> so we also had very good actors who were good at action so we never had to use stunt doubles so that's that's on you guys now yeah thank you thank you sir thank you thank you so uh, much <laughs> <laughs> basically varun is uh, so enthusiastic and uh, absolutely fuss free that the very first day you know you give respect to the actors and say pehle shot kya kare hain abhi acche se bitha ke you know ac laga ke we do and varun is like no no i want to jump fully into it so very first day of shoot was action with him and he was ulta he was hung ulta and he was there for like good one hour when we shot the whole uh, scene and we realized he was an action hero waiting to burst out so the style and the whole action we didn't have to do much uh, in terms of you know getting a stunt to replace them and samantha we discovered her prowess in the family man season 2 when we realized that she can do her own action so together they suddenly became a lethal combo and that yeah, and, yeah, and i think varun was telling the action director some mma moves that yeah, he wanted exactly. to do and yeah exactly i was just say that i was by the end i think it was the last sequence and i think it was the 10th uh, minute in that action sequence and i was on the floor i was like this needs to end now and varun is telling the uh, the stunt uh, the yanik uh, the choreographer i think in that 0.02 seconds i can do another flip kick i was like kill me already <laughs> <laughs> he wanted even in that little he was like i can do a flip and i'll kick him and then i will go the show up <laughs> no, no but on, i, I but think we have it can i no we we we've got so i'm very proud of that i'm very proud of the action sequence that uh, even me and uh, sakeb have done with the, the amount of dust you'll put in that uh, sequence so there are a lot of things i'll praise them for but this is one thing i'll uh, call them out they put it was literally a spiral staircase like this with a free drop matlab if me or sakeb hamara pair aise jata there was literally a 30 or 40 meter drop down and we you all put a net you all put a net yeah wo niche hai but we'll put a net we are very scary 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 to fall it was scary you all did a blast you all put a net the one two way and i was like god why are we going so real but that's what you realize when you shoot with raj and dk there's no studio setups coming there's only going to be shooting in thane bhayandar borevali very real locations just <laughs> real locations you've done that very well huh, varun you've put it very well yeah. thane bhayandar we, we were very real, real looking locations we were really looking forward ki ye russos aaye hai amazon prime video yeah, hai main to ballet ballet the mein bhi gaya yaar ha wohi humko thoda luxury milega kuch aisa milega but bhai aisa kuch nahi mila hum log ko <laughs> बिल्कुल रियल लोकेशन में सबने शूटिंग किया है। सिक्योरिटी तो आई वुड से अब मेरे को लग रही है तू क्या सिक्योरिटी दे रहे मेरे को मेरे को लग रही है बोल इनको एंड यूड से नो सर इट लुक सिक्योर बट बट वरुण डिड यू एंजॉय और नॉट I had a great time. It was a, it was like a wake up call for me, and honestly, uh, hopefully, a lot of, like you said, like a lot of people take notice of this, and you know, and uh, right now, I just feel that only the South Indians are taking notice of me and giving me great uh, opportunities in action, which is true. Yes, we love you. Which is true. <laughs> I think everything. I think I started working with Raj and DK and Sam, and next I'm working with Atli and Kirti. Uh, so it's. and janvi is also kind of south indian cheers so i think uh, hopefully that will lead the way for more other people in our industry to hopefully give me an the reason i'm actually saying this is because during lockdown 
I remember this actually started because during lockdown, I remember I met uh, Aditya Chopra. We were playing, he, he was playing badminton and I got to play badminton with him and Manish and they were making Tiger during that time. And I asked him, I said, sir, why don't you, you know, make an action film with like younger talent, why can't you ever take me and cast me? And he's like, no, I want to give you only acting roles, I don't want to give you action. I kept pursuing him and then he was like, see, listen, I can't do that because I can't give you that budget right now. You're not at that place where I can give you such a big budget. And then I kept thinking and then I just messaged him and I asked him, sir, what is the budget? And he gave me a figure that this is the budget you need to make something big in action. And I remember when this opportunity came, I even asked, I asked you all, I asked even uh, Amazon. <laughs> they don't want me to say all this. But uh, <laughs> I said that what is the budget because I'm getting this knowledge from Aditya Chopra that itna chahiye to make something look really good in action. And uh, I'm really grateful uh, to Amazon and Raj and DK for giving us this platform honestly, you know. Because that is needed sometimes to make something look big, to make actors look larger than life. So I'm really grateful that you all, you know, put in that much strength and, and the science to make this look like it does. But well, now the global audience is waiting with open arms to welcome you in this new avatar. And you know, we've spoken so much about geography, science and then physics and now let's hop to the chemistry, which is the on-screen chemistry between… He's written so many of the shows. He's also an actor, he's done… I, I've, I had seen a lot of stuff of Shivankit already on uh, YouTube, I've seen him. He was… Uh, his show is already with… Uh, Amazon. Prime. Aspirants. Aspirants. And I was, a, I think Aspirants 1 was just, and 2 was just amazing. He was amazing in it. Thank you, Varun. Thank you. Thank you so much. And obviously, Soham, everyone knows, I mean, from so much stuff he's done, but Kabir Singh, he was unbelievable in that as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So Come to your bro code. told us nice things so that we say nice things about you. Yeah, just you so praise that's, me. Right. That's, that's the plan, okay. I think he's become a father now. I don't think the off-screen stuff that we have done in Serbia and otherwise we can talk about. But <laughs> you can very well imagine as to how it was. We had a great time. Uh, I mean, just how uh, he just eases everything out for people, you know. It was never like, oh my God, star, I, I, I know, we have to be a little this thing. He was the person who greeted for the first time, saying that I'm Varun, what did you do? He was interested in art. Okay, see, that's what happens when you take Varun's name, it sort of cracks up. So, uh, I mean, he was just amazing, amazing to work with, especially the whole team. But fun fact, I was actually uh, scared of Sam uh, initially, uh, before I got to know her, and then there was this weird ice-breaking uh, situation that happened in Serbia, all thanks to Varun again. Uh, but yeah, I mean, and that's when I got to know that she's amazing as well. So I had a great time with this entire team, uh, especially Rajan DK, because as Varun also said that this is something that I manifested too. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to the show right now. So basically, Samantha, he had an expression that you had in the series here, which is dur and surprise together. Yes, yes, Before totally, <laughs> in real life. So yeah, with Varun, it was very organic actually. But the thing with Varun is, uh, He'll casually come to you and start speaking to you and after a point you realize that you are telling him all the secrets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which you Which shouldn't, shouldn't in, know. In the midway of the conversation I realize why I'm telling all my secrets to him and he casually very charmingly will ask you everything. I hope it's a secret. <laughs> no, it's not. not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so yeah, he took us to a film also in Serbia. He bought us popcorn. So yeah. Sab kuch bolo. Sab kuch mat bolo. Yeah. He's a father now. What happens in Serbia stays in Serbia. Stays in Serbia. Yeah? <laughs> but thank you. We're looking forward to that bro code. And yes, I agree completely. Varun, every time you meet him anywhere, he's, some, he's the one who comes forward. He's the one who actually says, extremely down to earth. And thank you so much for being you. So, and with that, I must say the energy is infectious. Wishing you the best for Citadel Honey Bunny. And uh, we thank you for telling us so much more about the fun experiences and the dhamal that happened and the dhamaka, as Nikhil likes to use that. Uh, term. And that's all the time we have today uh, for the Q&A. Thank you for all the insights. I wish you the best. I just want to thank the cast and crew. You know, we are very grateful for these wonderful cast to join us. Um, I'm missing Sakib Salim here, making KK Menon, missing Simran. Sikandar was amazing and thank really you, sir. Thank you. could, we could really mold. And. Uh, uh, these two became a real off-screen pair too, uh, Soham and uh, yeah. Shivankit. And every time they give something new to it, 
and we had an amazing discovery about uh, with this little uh, bundle of talent. Uh, our crew has been incredible. It's been a, a very tough journey, long journey. I want to take a moment to acknowledge them. All our, in, uh, from our DOP production designer costume to our creative team who's here and our editor, Sumit Arora, our dialogue writer, all these guys. I just want to take a moment and Sumit uh, Kotian, who's been our editor since the Family Man season one. Even so the just, PG guy. Ah, of course. Amans, your, your Amans been great. They are just amazing. Amman's been great and Alvin and Sanjay have been great sound. These have become our now f extended family. We're hoping to all get together for the premiere. Uh, and big, big thanks to Amazon, yeah. to yeah. Gaurav Gandhi, to… Oh yeah, we almost Saira, forgot to thank Amazon. No? Uh, to Nikhil and uh, the Amazonians that are not there here. And so, big thank you and especially the marketing team who's always so enthusiastic, works around 24 hours with the global teams. <laughs> always managed to put out very something very classy and uh, yep, and the lovely press. Very happy to share the trailer with you guys first and thank you for all your support. Thank you.